Hello Lana. Let us look at another problem involving formation of partial differential equations by eliminating arbitrary functions. Now form a partial differential equation from this equation, equation Z. So we call this equation number one. So this part here is our arbitrary function. Now first step again, we differentiate equation one partially with respect to x. So we'll have partial z, z or partial x is equals to differentiate this, we'll get 2x times x squared plus y squared. Of course, when differentiate this part, we'll get f prime of that. Now, partial z or partial x, the same as p. So p is equals to 2x times f prime, which is x squared plus y squared. So we call this equation number 2. Now, next step, we differentiate equation number 1 partially with respect with respect to y. So we'll have partial of z of partial of y is equals to 2y times x squared plus y squared f prime like that. So partial of z or partial of y is the same as q. So q is equals to 2y times that x squared plus y squared. So we call this equation number three. Now, when we look at equation number two and equation number three, these parts of the arbitrary functions are the same. So to eliminate this function, we have to divide equation number two with equation number three. So we'll have P divide Q is equals to 2X over uh, 2y, this part, times f prime of x squared plus y squared. So this part of the functions cancels out. 2 and 2 cancels out. So remain with p over q is equal to x over y, which is the same as p y after cross multiply. Okay, we cross multiply here, we get p y is equals to qx. So p y minus qx is equals to zero is our required partial differential equation.